Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these few moments with our Good Shepherd, Jesus. I read this morning from Psalm 41, starting with verse 11. By this I know that you delight in me. My enemy will not shout in triumph over me. But you have upheld me because of my integrity and set me in your presence forever. Blessed be ye the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. By this I know, God's delight in us is a sign of his favor. We know he delights in us because our enemy, the devil, will not shout in triumph over us. We happily agree with the psalm up to this point but we run into a bit of a snag with the psalmist's next remark. But you have upheld me because of my integrity. We must, in repentant humility, admit that integrity is not always displayed in our lives. We're not always as honest and upright as our Lord commands us to be. As Scripture says, none is righteous, no, not one. God doesn't uphold us against the foe because of our integrity. He upholds us because of the integrity of our Savior. The inspired prophetic words of this psalm point to Jesus, the promised Messiah, the Father's delight. During the Lord's earthly ministry, the Father praised Jesus uh, again and again from heaven. At Jesus' baptism, the Father said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. As Jesus drew near the cross, three disciples watched him be transfigured in glory. They heard the Father's voice from a bright cloud, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The innocent Son, who never failed in integrity and uprightness, was condemned to death and nailed to a cross. Jesus took unto himself all of our sins, our unrighteousness, and our lack of integrity, and suffered the penalty of death that we deserved. At Jesus' death, the devil may have shouted in triumph, but the foe's triumph didn't last long. The sinless son was upheld because of his integrity. It was the son, not the enemy, who triumphed. Jesus was raised from the dead, exalted to the Father's right hand, and set in his presence forever. By faith, Jesus' victory is our victory. Our sins are forgiven, and the foe cannot shout in triumph over us. We are baptized into Christ Jesus, clothed with his integrity, his righteousness. For Jesus' sake, the Father who delights in his beloved Son delights in us, his beloved sons and daughters. We will live in God's presence forever and bless the Lord from everlasting to everlasting. These psalm verses are all about our Lord Jesus and because of his saving work. These verses describe us, too. Join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, through faith in Jesus, I am righteous in your sight. Help me to live with integrity in the world so that I may glorify you. Amen. Well, everyone, may the Lord bless you this day and remind you that you are righteous in God's sight because of Jesus.